Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to discuss an interesting subject. I've been considering doing a set of wheels on the car. And as you all know, I run H&R 20mm spacers. That way I get a nice plush fitment. It's the rear. That's what the front looks like. And I've had no issues with the spacers so far. Very happy with the look. But I'm going to give you one of the downsides to running the spacers, especially when you want to go aftermarket wheels. So as you can see, the spacer is what it looks like. It's right here. Same in the rear. They're both 20 millimeter. Right there. So now, the issue you're going to have is if you want to go with an aftermarket wheel and you want to get the right fitment, you're gonna have to change these studs out because with 20 millimeter spacers, you have to cut the studs. If you go 25 millimeter plus, you won't have to cut the studs, so that's something to consider. But if you're gonna go 15 or 20, I had to cut the studs in the front, the studs in the rear. Now the issue with the studs in the front, which I didn't know before going into this, was that you have to actually change the whole hub out. I'm gonna flash a picture up that way you can see what I'm talking about. Maybe a quick video, hopefully I can find something. But um, yeah, you have to change the whole entire hub out so that you, to change this. Because what's gonna happen is, if you go to bang the studs out like you normally would, there's no clearance behind the brake, there's no clearance, there's a shield here, and there's a spin, there's something behind it that's, that's a, a large metal surface that won't allow the stud to, um, to pass through. So that's an issue for the front. The rear, come over here, I know for a fact that when you bring the stud to a certain location back here, you could just bend the shield back. You could actually, you know, take take the stud, hammer it right out. You cannot do that in the front. So in the rear, you could replace the studs, just bang them out, put new ones in. They're, they're a few dollars a piece, maybe like two, three dollars a piece per stud. But the front, you're gonna have to change the spindle, the actual whole hub assembly, I'm sorry. I could, like I said, I'll show you a picture of that. And, um, that's the issue with that and it becomes a bigger job and that's also why I haven't put wheels on the car yet because I don't know if I want to tackle that job so if you saw a little post they made recently looking for some 21 touring wheels that's part of the reason why I wanted to stay with an OEM wheel so I could still run my spaces and not have to deal with that but I am still on the fence with the whole situation but the actual part is only about 50 something dollars for each hub with the with the studs on them which isn't too bad. It's more of the annoyance of the labor. I have to rent the tool to pop them out. Either you gotta pay the shop a good amount of money to get them out, which is, I don't, I don't wanna do that. I'd rather just do it myself and rent the tool, but this is dilemma, the dilemma I'm in. So I just wanted to bring that to light and let people know that if you do do spacers and you actually wanna to switch to aftermarket wheels, that's what you're gonna be up against if you cut your studs. If you run 25 millimeter spacers, You'll avoid all that. You could run your factory wheels and then you could just put your aftermarket wheels on. No issue. But in my particular situation, I'm gonna have to uh, replace those hub the hubs in the front, knock out the studs in the back and replace them with new ones. So that's pretty much the situation with that. So if you guys have any questions or concerns regarding the car, or anything about the build so far, I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Uh, leave a comment below, like I said. And I'll see you guys next time, still debating on which direction to take the car, which is why I haven't been making content recently, but I'd rather give you no content than crappy content. And I feel that this, this information is uh, very useful to people because I didn't consider it going into it. I also never planned on changing the wheels on this car when I first bought it. This is also why I bought a Sport because I like the wheels so much and I said I'll probably never change the wheels on the car, but now I've had the car so long longer than I actually thought I would keep it. 
So I'm considering just changing the look a little bit. So this is what I'm up against. So that's where we're at, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.